Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Getting some crazy hair going on. Just got out of the shower, was using these things again to try to get some lift up here. Hello. As you're tuning in, um, go ahead and announce yourself and where you live. And if you're catching the replay, just type replay. And I'm going to put my website in here and see if this would allow me to tag some people. I don't know if it will. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday to everyone. And let me see, will it let me tag people? I don't think it'll let me tag people. Go ahead and comment when you come in so I can see if the comments are working. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Put my hair back so that's out of the way for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start with my skincare. Everybody, if you want a flawless makeup look, start with your skincare. Um, it's, it's really important to get a good foundation to start. And when I mean foundation, I mean the base. What's going to be underneath your makeup? Um, just like any good painter, when they start to paint, they start with the base, what is going to be underneath everything. Um, sometimes people put primer down before you paint a wall. This is the same um, application, same theory. You put the primers down to um, give you that smooth base and everything. So we're going to start with the skincare. And I am trying to tighten all this up right here. And I'm trying to lift this. Um, I notice, like when you, even when you do eyeliner, if you have a lot of bumps and wrinkles, it's a lot harder to do your eyeliner application. At least it is for me. So I'm going to start with the Eye Lift Serum. Um, it's a new clinical Eye Lift. It's a duo. And I've showed this in my um, previous videos, but I'll show it to you again. It's a gel and a cream. The gel goes on top, the cream goes underneath. And I'm just going to put a light coverage. You don't want it real thick because you want it to be able to soak into your skin and not cause any problems with your um, foundations or your eyeshadows. You want to give, um, if you do put it on thick, which you can put it on thick at night before you go to bed if you wanted to, or thicker than the day, you want to give it plenty of time to soak in. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everybody's having an amazing weekend already. It is warming up here in Indiana. The sun is out. I haven't, um, I haven't went outside yet today. I think it's supposed to be in the 40s today, I think. Which should melt some of the snow that we have going on. And it's supposed to stay, you know, like 30s, 40s, possibly even towards 50 one day. So there's that. Now what about the rest of my face. So I am going to use, today I'm using the Anu Vitel. I love this product. It's a great moisturizer. Um, it helps with the skin clarity, your skin tones, keeping everything 
even. I absolutely love this product element. It smells so good and it feels so refreshing when you put it on. It just feels like, I don't know, it feels like a drink of water for your skin. Here in the winter time, especially if you're like me and you live in a climate where it gets so cold, um, with furnaces running nonstop, and just the atmosphere and the wind and everything, it can really ha you know, be damaging to your skin. Um, it can really dry it out really bad. So extra moisturizing is always needed, especially in the winter. Not that we don't need it in the summer, but you might have to do something extra in the winter to stay moisturized. And I tend to get really dry right here in my T-zone. So I'm going to make sure that's covered really well. Okay. There's my skin care. Now I'm going to just let that soak in for a minute before I start laying down the um, foundation and everything. So while I'm waiting for that to soak in, I thought I would show you my nails. I don't know if you saw it. See that color? And I tried. That's me, you guys. Don't judge. I am not a nail artist. But I tried to put a heart on my nail. Look, it's all kind of like, it's kind of like an epic fail, but I don't know. Look at that. But anyways, here's the purple color. And then here's the pink. And I'm trying to do something trending towards the Valentine's Day theme. So that's why this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to partner with a nail technician that can do awesome images and drawings and stamps on my nails. And I'm, but I'm going to have her use my Avon nail polish. So stay tuned for that. We will um, see what goes on with that. I'm kind of excited to get some really awesome nails going on so that I can show you guys our nail polish line. Um, I absolutely love this Avon True Color nail polish. I think both of them were. But this is Nailwear Pro and this is True Color. The Nailwear Pro, I have used this a lot. I love the pinks, even for summertime. Um, it wears really well. Um, I think it says an average up to 12 days of wear time with this. And I do not put a top coat on my nails. And I can get a good, I can get a good week at least out of this. And I do everything with my hands. Um, I wash dishes. I do not have a dishwasher. Um, in the summertime, I'm always out in the flower beds digging and playing around, and I don't wear gloves, which I probably should, but I don't. And um, I'm always um, typing. I have a job where I type all day long, and this polish is awesome. It, I just love it. And we have so many colors to choose from. You might want to check that out. If you're a nail polish lover like me, I have a whole plastic tub full of nail polish. I'm addicted. I will say that. Okay, I think this has been on long enough, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with my primer, my Magix primer. And if you would, if you like this video, um, or if you find it informational or just fun, please share with someone or with a group if you have a group of people um, any friends family members that also may love Avon or even just makeup in general I'd love to get more people here so we can talk um, about the products or and if you don't feel like talking that's fine if you all you want to do is watch because some people don't like to comment. They just want to like and um, watch it and 
stay in the background and not say anything. And I understand that because I've done that before. Um, but at least like the video um, so that I will know what videos are more popular versus the ones that aren't. The same with my post on my business page. Whatever posts get the more likes to me are more popular so I know to do more of those similar types of things. So it really helps my business and it helps me know what direction to go in. And I tremendously appreciate it. And I think I, I forgot my eye primer. No, I didn't. I brought it. For a second, I for, thought I forgot my eye primer. Okay. Again, this is the Magix Face Primer. It, as you saw, it's non-tinted. No tint to it at all. And I typically say that because I did have a customer who purchased it thinking it was going to have some tint to it. And when it didn't have tint, she wanted to return it. So, and of course we take it, you know, as long as it's within the time frame, um, I took it back. So, but I want to make sure that you know that this, is, you know, goes on clear. Uh, a cream that dries down to like a powder form. It will um, soak into your skin just like the moisturizer. It will fill in the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, large pores, it will fill those in, and it will just help you give you that smooth base to start with so you can start laying your foundation, which is what we're ready for next. And as soon as I find it, I'm going to try a brand new one today. So we'll see how this goes. I might be trying it. I think I left my blending bud in the bathroom because I got it damp. Yes. Well, shoot. I got my um, blending bud in the bathroom. So we are going to use a foundation brush today. Hey, just improvise, right? Just change it up. Okay, what we're going to use is the Avon True Color Flawless Foundation. Let me get my old lady glasses. I call them old lady glasses because I'm down to these readers. Let's see what this says. Flawless liquid foundation. And the color that I've got is medium beige. And this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. So we're going to see how it goes on. Now it might feel a little bit weird to me because I'm not used to using the foundation brush anymore. But we'll see. This is Avon's foundation brush. So I'm just going to put a couple squirts on it, maybe, if I can figure out how to open the tube. Got to twist it, and there we go. Now we got to pump some up. All right. Now, I'm just going to start putting this on. When you use a foundation brush, it really feels like you're painting your face. I it really does. Now again, this is medium beige. And we're going to see how this does. This is brand new for me. I've not used this yet. I was using, I had it here. I was using the new liquid foundation. I still do use this until this is gone, but this Avon is discontinuing this, so and they're going with this, so I wanted to make sure I tried it and showed it in my videos. So that's why we're experimenting with this today to get a feel for it. Make sure we get everything covered here. And with it being full coverage, it really covers everything. I had some blemishes down here, and they're they're getting covered. 
so I really like it. It doesn't feel heavy right now. So what is everybody doing today? Is there anything exciting going on this weekend for anybody? I don't think I'm doing a whole lot of anything exciting. Working on my Avon business. I'm always working on my Avon business because it's what I love to do. Spending time with family and friends as well. Okay. I think it's getting there. Let me get the mirror and look in the mirror and make sure what it looks like. Ooh, yeah. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? about that foundation. I think it looks really good. It didn't take a whole lot. You could even put it on thinner than that if you wanted to. So it's buildable. I love how it's full covered. A lot of my Avon friends, they're at a conference, a leadership conference in San Diego. And oh my gosh, some of the news that they are posting already is amazing. Things that Avon's coming out with, oh my gosh, I am so excited for it. You guys have got to stay, stay tuned because I'm telling you, you know, we started with the health and wellness line already this year, but we're going to be adding more stuff that's just off the charts crazy now let's get a little bit now that you put the foundation on let's get a little bit of color to the face and I'm going to use this blush in cranberry and get the foundation brush and I'm lightly going to tap this because I don't want to look really dark in foundation we got lots of exciting products coming out I'm just I'll give you guys a little bit of it right now um there's mention of a kids line I don't know for those of you who have shopped Avon or been in Avon for a while we used to have a kids line called Tiny Tilia now I don't know much about this line yet until um, I think today is the day that the representatives are actually going to be able to see the line um, so I'll know more later on but um, the kids line is supposed to be for boys and girls so I'm super excited to see what that's going to be for everybody. Um, we always, I have a lot of you know new moms and everything that would love to have more kids products. So we are going to be getting some kids products. Yay! Now, what are they going to be? I don't know yet. I'm I'm waiting to hear. Um, the news is going to come out today. I I don't know if it's going to be clothes, toys. Diaper bags. We used to have diaper bags, so I don't know um, what it's going to be yet. So I'm pretty excited to see what that's going to entail. And Avon has brought back several items. I'm using the um, eye primer now. Avon has brought back several items because of customer requests which means they are listening to you guys which I absolutely love and they're listening to the representatives as well they know we are the ones out here 
selling the products, sharing the products, talking about the products. So, um, last Christmas we had the Care Deeply lip balms that came back because a customer is requesting it. We had something else that just came back because a customer request. I can't think of it. <laughs> but um, the next item coming up, close to Father's Day, soap on a rope. Evidently, there's been enough of the customers who have requested for that item to come back. Um, in the men's fragrances, like Mesmerize, Wild Country, Black Suede, be on the lookout for soap on the rope. <laughs> um, obviously, a lot of people love that. I can't really say because I'm not married. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that coming back. Is it something that um, someone in your household would use or would you give it as a gift? And what do you think about um, a kid's line, Avon having a kid's line? Let me know what you think about that, good or bad. I'd love to hear anything about it. I'd love to hear what my customers think. So let me know. All right. I did get, let's see. I don't know how I'm going to do this without a blending bud. Let me see. All right. We are going to talk a little bit about brows today because I don't do that a whole lot on my videos. I've never really messed with brows too much because I've always had these brook shield things going on. As you can see, they're pretty fluffy, full brows. I do need to get them go. Um, I get my eyebrows um, waxed when I get my hair done. And so it's not on a regular consistent basis, but anytime I'm in there getting my hair done, I'll have her do my eyebrows. Um, so I don't do a, a whole lot with eyebrows because I feel like my eyebrows are full enough. They're dark enough to show up, but I feel like that's a disservice to you guys as the customers who would like some brow products. So, I purchased some brow products just for you guys. So, here is a brow brush, brow comb that you can use. So, you want to make sure that all of these are laying down. There's no dry skin in your brows. Get them laying down. Now, the rule of thumb in shaping your eyebrows is you want to go from the corner of your eye up. That is where your eyebrow should start, right in that area. So if you're a person that has to draw on your eyebrows or fill in your eyebrows, that is where you want your eyebrow to start. And then for the arch of your eyebrow, you want to take it right through the center of your eye and up. That is where the arch should be. And then as far as where your eyebrow should end, you go like this. So as you can see, as mine get over here, they kind of taper off a little bit too much. So we're going to just play with this and fill in a little bit with it. So I use this and I brush them down. Make sure I don't have any foundation in them or anything like that. Then I got a brow kit from Avon. It is a where you have a collar and a wax in it. And I'll show it to you. Now I got this in um, dark brown, deep brown. Deep brown is what it's called. And I went like the deepest color because my eyebrows are already pretty much black, a deep dark color already. There are other shades in this, Dep so depending on what shade you need for your eyebrows. And then it has this little dual um, brush that you can use. And as you can see, I've already used it once. If you can see any product on there, 
but it's a little tiny thing brush that comes in. It's angled. Both sides are angled so that you can start working on your eyebrows. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'm not an eyebrow specialist since I don't do eyebrows a lot, so bear with me. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly tap it into this dark color. Okay. And then you do little quick. Let me get this up here. Let me see. Let me get my mirror up here. I feel safer with my mirror. You do little like pencil movement like this. Go like this, 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 this. Because you want it to look like hairs. You don't want it to look um, really drawled on. You want to try to give it a natural look. So we're just going to. And I think I came down a little bit too far on that, but we can fix that. So what I'm going to do, since I have bushy eyebrows already, is I'm going to just fill this in. And it's just going to make my eyebrows look darker than what they already are. Now we also have glimmer sticks for brows. Okay, so what you can do from there, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next side. You see how that makes that look darker? Probably because my eyebrows are got a little bit of a blondish brown in them. Okay, now what we're going to do is, once I find everything, we're going to, what you can do is you can take this and kind of like love, brush it out, like make it softer. And once you get it to where you want it, then you can come back over here with the wax. Okay, I'm going to tap into the wax. Once you're done, and you're going to put a coat of wax on this, and that's going to like seal in what you just did. There you go. Now, we are going to Come back in here. I keep losing everything. And I'm going to use a concealer. And I'm going to come in right underneath here. You could correct anything with the concealer. Or help with the shape. This is where my blending bud would come in handy. But I didn't bring it in my room, so we're going to have to use what I've got. Where is my foundation brush? Hold, please. Foundation brush, where'd you go? 
Now I'm moving my ring light and everything. Now if you had a blending bud, you could tap, 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 tap and get that right in there. I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend this. Yay! So there's a little bit with the eyebrows. So if you um, do eyebrows, do your eyebrows, be sure to check out these um, eyebrow kits that we have. This one's a Avon True Color, but it's Perfect Eyebrow Styling Duo. Perfect Eyebrow Styling Duo. This is what it looks like and select the shade that you need. Now, we're ready for eyeshadow. I bought some different things here. I always like trying new things, showing you guys new things. I figure the more I can show you guys, the better this is going to be, right? So I tried some singles with Avon, some eyeshadow singles, because I'm always buying the um, quads, the eight and ones, and all that. So I'm going to open these up and show them to you. i got three shades here. Okay, this one is called Satin Taupe. Where's my old lady glasses? It's a shame that I have to wear them, but I do. I think I'm getting new contacts soon that will help me with this. Okay. Yeah, Satin Taupe. I was right. So we got this shade here, Satin Taupe. Then we've got, and that's kind of like a shimmer shimmer to it. Did, uh, did you guys notice that? That kind of has a shimmer to it. Then we're going to work with Plum Burgundy, which is a matte. It's a purplish brown color. And then for up around the brow, we're going to use Champagne which has some shimmer to it. So those are the three shades I'm going to use today. So, take these back off. And we are going to start with this, what was it, Satin Taupe? Yep, Satin Taupe. We're going to start with this one, Satin Taupe, and I'm going to put this on my lid and even go into my crease some, and I'm tapping it on. And I love it. Look at that color. These colors are amazing. And I'm, I'm getting into the crease even. Okay. I think this color really sets your eyes off. I'm going to like blend it into the crease. Blend it out to the corner. And I'm bringing it up. Let's do the other side. Thanks for tuning in.
Go ahead and say your name and where you're from. Because I'm not seeing names. I don't know if Facebook isn't showing me comments right now or what's going on. But even if you're watching the replay, don't forget to type replay. Okay. Look at that. I love that color. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, don't freak out because we're going to like blend all this. So, let's blend this out a little bit. Circles. Again, don't forget to like and share this video. I absolutely appreciate you guys being here and making me not so alone. <laughs> it's, oh, these, these videos are so much funner with people here and people to talk to. I so much appreciate it. All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to use this eyeliner brush. It's a dual-ended eyeliner brush. If you haven't seen it in my other videos before, this part, you can do the eyeliner. I love this little part right here to get up next to my brows. So I'm tapping it into champagne. And we're going to come up here. Look at that. Look how well that shows up. And how awesome that is. Now we are going to blend these two together. And always try to keep everything like up here, that way. Nothing falls down here. And stuff, something does, all you gotta do is go back with your um, foundation brush or your blending bud and just, you know, re tap it like this. Yay! So, what do you guys think? So far. Now, we are going to get another brush and we're going to go into this um, plum burgundy. Okay, we're going to come in right here and start laying it in. I'm going to go close here to my crease, but when I get here, I'm going to go out wider to give that smoke eye look. Okay, looking for my blending brush. Isn't that, I love playing with makeup. I, I love it. 
I love creating different looks. I think my most favorite part about makeup is the eyes. It, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascara. When a person can set off their eyes, I think that really um, is the best part of makeup. So we're using this plum burgundy right here to smoke out the eyes a little bit. Going over to the corner and up. Now we're going to blend this out to make it not look so crazy. Make it look softer. Trying to do circles, little circles. Soften it up a little bit. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of these shades? All right. Now, we're going to bring some of this plum burgundy down. We're going to go in with the eyeliner brush. We're just tapping in it lightly, like this. And then we're going to come up, I'm getting close into your space here, and we're tapping this in here to put some of this plum burgundy down here. And right here. That way we have some of, we pull some of that shading down here. So we kind of pull it all in together, the top to the bottom. So what do you think of that? I love this eyeliner brush, by the way. I mean, you could tap it in some really dark shades and actually do your actual eyeliner with it. Okay, now we are going to need some eyeliner. I brought in here a brand new eyeliner to try. I've never tried it, so yee. it's always exciting to use something new and a little bit scary at the same time because you don't know what it's going to look like. But we're using Precise. Let me get it open here. It is going to be, it's Hunter Green. Super Extend Precise Liquid Pen in Hunter Green. And this is what I'm trying to get open. See, I gotta pull this white strip down. So, get a hold of the white strip here. Maybe I should have opened it off a of camera, right? Maybe. There it goes. Okay, got it open. Finally! This is what it looks like without the packaging. Now I'm not used, oh gosh, sorry, I about dropped it. I'm not used to using green eyeliner. So this is going to be something new for me. We'll just see how it works. And putting it on top of purple, I'm not sure, like a burgundy. But we're going to, that's the whole thing about makeup is playing and seeing what looks good. And if it doesn't look good, you take it off or you just never do it again. But um, we're going to try this. So let me... Um, do this, swatch it for you. Oh, this shouldn't be too bad. Hunter Green is a really dark green. 
So it's there. I think that shows real good. So it's not going to look that bad. So I'm going to need this right here. And maybe I can do it here. No, I can't. We're going to come in really close right here. I always get really close to my lashes to fill those in. And I go across. I tend to like a thick line. Look at that. Look at that compared to that. Let me close my eyes. So, let me see about over here. Okay, let's come over here and do the top over here. Let me see. Let me come in here close, see if I can do this. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take it here. Ooh wee. Of course, when I stare that long, my contacts dry out. So I do wear contacts. And I don't have any problem with any of our makeup affecting our contacts, by the way. Just staring so long into a... mirror <laughs> okay so now my eyes are so big that sometimes getting the liners to match up for me is difficult. Okay. There's the eyeliner. And that was Hunter Green. Now we're going to try some mascara. And... We are going to use Wide Awake Mascara. And we're going to see if we can see these puppies lifting up. Let me know what you think. Can you see my eyelashes growing? Let me know what you see on your end so I can know what to work on in showing you. So again, this is Wide Awake Mascara. It lifts your eyelashes, lengthens them, makes you look wide awake. Yeah, my battery says that it's going low. 
Hold on. Hold, please. Hopefully you guys can still see this. Look at that. Can you see them? If you need some mascara, you should try this mascara. It's awesome. What do you think? I'm getting there. So, I think that's where I'm going to leave my makeup today. Let's take the hair down. See what we really look like. Because we normally don't have our hair up. Ooh, we got a little bit of wild hair going on today. So let me know what you like and what you like seeing. Um, if you would like for me to do a video on my hair, look at my profile picture and how it's curly. If you would like for me to do a video like that, let me know because I want to do videos that you would enjoy seeing. Um, this is the look that I have today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. Share it with a friend that likes makeup or wears makeup or someone that just enjoys watching makeup videos. So, again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next video.